Unit 7, guys, is going to be on the gas laws, and on our first lesson, we're going to be talking about the kinetic molecular theory. So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about the behavior of gases, the kinetic theory, and a phrase called entropy. So the kinetic molecular theory, otherwise called KMT, talks about the fact that gases are what we call small spheres, which are very small in volume. Their volume is so small, it's insignificant, and gases are very far apart from one another. These spheres move rapidly in constant motion, traveling in straight lines until they strike another sphere, which is a gas particle, or the wall of any container. This could be like a bottle, this could be like a balloon, this could be anything that could be filled with gas. Gases will fill their container. They always assume the shape and volume of the container. So if you notice different types of balloons or different types of balls, they're all different shapes and sizes, it's because the gases are completely filling them. And the spheres collide in perfect elastic collisions, which means that the kinetic energy, or the energy of motion, from one gas is transferred without loss from one gas to the next. So if you recall, we talked about solid, liquid, and gases, and you can see the difference between the spacing and the arrangement of the particles. So solids, we said, are arranged in regular repeating patterns. They have very close proximity to one another, and they vibrate in place. Liquids, however, have a little bit more space between their particles. And they easily flow between each other because of that space. Um, there is some sort of attractiveness between their particles, which is why they kind of stay together. And then gases, as you can see, and this container is wide open, the gases will expand to fill the entire container, and they can even possibly... Uh, if not contained, come out of that container. Um, and then finally, plasma, which we really haven't discussed. Compared to the rest of the universe, Earth is a calm place. Most of the time, it's not hot or violent enough here to create plasma. The best place to witness the power of plasma on Earth is inside a lightning strike. Temperatures inside a bolt can reach 53,000 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to momentarily rip a few atoms apart. The plasma lasts an instant. Then the electrons rebind and it's gone. But in our massive sun, the plasma lasts for billions of years and makes up the entire 200,000 mile deep radiation zone. Here on the left side, you're going to see lower average kinetic energy. There's a lower absolute temperature because kinetic energy, if you recall, is related to temperature. Particles will move slower, so that's why you see the arrows moving, or the arrows are a little shorter on the left hand side than on the right hand side. On the right, you see the average kinetic energy is a little higher, and they're going to move a little faster. When they move a little faster, we uh, assume a higher temperature. So do all gases have the same energy? No, they do not. So you have to remember that kinetic energy is a measure of the average energy of the gas particles of a sample. That means that every one of them may not have the same amount of energy, but all together averaged out, they then interpret what we call temperature. So gas particles have different energies with respect to one another. Some particles move slower, some particles move faster than others. The kinetic energies are distributed around an average kinetic energy, which corresponds to the temperature of the gas. Average kinetic energy and temperature have a direct relationship. That means they both increase at the same rate. So if you increase the temperature, the speed of your particles will increase. If you decrease the temperature, the speed of your particles will decrease. Many questions on the regions tend to ask which of the following has the highest kinetic energy, and all they give you is temperature and masses. It doesn't matter about the mass, it's really a question about that temperature. Entropy is the measure of disorder of a system, which means creating of more or less particles per chemical reaction. Systems will go from low entropy to high entropy. Symbol for entropy is S, and the change of entropy is delta S. You're, you're going to need these for future lessons. 
Solids have the least amount of motion between their particles because of their strong intermolecular forces. Particles' arrangements are therefore very organized, creating a system of low entropy. However, gases have the most amount of motion between their particles because they have weaker intermolecular forces. Particle arrangements are therefore very chaotic, creating a system of high entropy. Think of entropy as like your bedroom from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. On Mondays, it's all nice and neat. By Friday, it's a zoo.